Hey, future badass business owners, welcome back to the Start a Small Business Podcast, where each episode we will be walking you through the process of getting your small business from concept to open for business. In today's episode, we're going to talk about that number one calculation that each and every business owner needs to understand and why. Now, whenever I start talking about how a business owner needs to know their business numbers, the first thing that people worry about is that they're going to have to start doing all kinds of crazy math equations and complicated computations. But I promise you, it's not going to be like that. As much as I love math, I understand that most people don't. So I promise I'm not going to have you do this. But there is one easy to remember calculation that will help you price correctly and help you understand your profit and loss statement. This way you can use it all to help ensure that you're making a profit in your business. So what is this magical calculation? It's sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. Once again, sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. This is the basic flow of money through your business. Your profit and loss statement is also broken down into this exact same grouping. And I think that if you understand that, it'll help you price better as well. Think about it. Money comes into your business. We call this sales. Sometimes it's called revenue. Sometimes it's called income. But at the end of the day, it's all sales. It's money that flows in to your business. The first bills you need to pay are the costs for the sale. Normally, there'll be products, materials, or ingredients that get used. We call these your cost of goods sold. But it also includes any labor that is required to assemble those products, materials, or ingredients. For example, if I sell bikes, I might order all the parts, but I have to put them together. That labor is part of the cost of goods to sell that bike. Without the labor, there is no bike. However, if the bike comes in already assembled, then there is no labor needed. The same theory goes for service-based businesses. If someone hires you to install a toilet, then there is a cost for the toilet, unless of course they purchase it themselves. But what they're paying for is to install the toilet, and this requires labor. So that means our first part of our equation, sales minus cost of goods. Well, the third component is minus expenses. The expenses are all the other business expenses for running the business. And on your profit and loss, they often will call this operational expenses. I can hear you now. Tammy, how am I supposed to know how much to set aside for my expenses? Well, when you look at your P&L, you're going to discover that your profit and loss actually holds the key to knowing what percentage. It will let you know how much your expenses tend to run and what percentage of your sales that tends to be. So for some of you, it might be low, 10 to 20%, and for others, it's going to be 50% or even 60, 70%. It really just depends how many operational costs you have in your business. This way, you'll know that if your operational expenses tend to run 50%, then when you price something, about half of that is going to go to just paying your expenses, not to mention all the other costs that you have associated with it. So now our calculation, once again, is sales minus cost of goods minus those expenses leaves us with our fourth part of that calculation, which is the profits. And this is our final part. And if you priced your product and service correctly, After you take away your cost of goods and after you pay your expenses, there's going to be a profit, which is ultimately the goal. This is a profit game, not a sales game. Now, I'm not going to keep going into detail as there's going to be a couple other episodes coming up where I talk more about this. Plus, to be honest with you, you're going to want to watch the YouTube channel, Badass Business Owners, because there's all kinds of videos on there that help you understand your profit and loss better and will show you visually what that looks like, because I understand this can be hard on a podcast. My main reason for this episode is to really get you committed to remembering this calculation because you're going to hear me say it a lot, especially if you start listening to the Badass Business Owner Show. Once again, say it with me. Sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. So if you always keep that in mind and you start with what you plan to sell something for minus the cost to deliver it minus the money you need to set aside for your expenses, you'll know what your profit is. It's a great calculation. And this alone, if you really put it to memory and start using it in your business, you're going to find that you're going to start making much better decisions when it comes to your pricing. Now, in the next episode, we're going to take a closer look at a profit and loss statement and how this calculation is going to help you understand your business's report card. And before you head on over to the next episode, make sure you download your startup guide if you haven't already. And don't forget to subscribe to the Badass Business Owner Podcast as well as the YouTube channel. See you on the next episode. Bye for now.